close my mind. Come get close like you and I. Read your aura, you want more of all this love. You'll be your name. Release all of your burdens. It's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off. Just relax, you deserve it. style cycling travel and anything i feel like telling you guys about so if you're new to this channel please make sure you subscribe that make sure you subscribe and press the bell button to get notified anytime i post a video um so hi so this is me um this is a really quick video on just my small morning routine i probably do a better morning routine because I feel like a lot is changing in my life and I'm trying to prepare myself to become the woman I always wanted to be. So it starts with my mornings, my small, small routines, small, small habits, working on this, working on that. Maybe I'll be able to just highlight a few things that I'm trying to do for myself now that I hope will impact my life in the long run. So first things first, this is my afro. I am only now embracing natural hair. So I'm a bit terrified, a bit anxious, dealing with, um, like I don't know, I'm like, do I look nice? Is it too much? Is it like, I don't know. I'm just trying to navigate that. Um, so basically I'm trying to wake up earlier, do my morning devotions and just set the mood for the day. And I feel like when I do that, I normally start my day really well. So I just want to do it consistently. One thing I also want to incorporate in my life is like planning my day, my uh, day uh, way ahead, like previous, the previous night I want to plan for the next day. That one also helps me stay accountable and stay productive because I'm able to get things done. And even if I don't get everything done, I have ticked a lot of boxes um yeah and then i'll be able to move it forward and just find space for it um or find space for whatever i want to do another thing i want to incorporate is reducing screen time and i think on one of these videos we'll just really highlight and talk about how 
the Im Im effects of screen time. I am trying to combat that with going back to reading a lot more. I love reading my books and like actual hardcover books or rather, yeah, as opposed to digital books because that just, I keep going back to scroll and whatnot. And the fact that I'm trying to build a career as a content creator it just keeps me scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so sometimes it's like what's the limit even if it's like work what's the limit so yeah that's that balance is becoming a bit challenging to get into however i am very excited um about this new chapter of my life i have changed a lot over the years and i believe if you've been here from the beginning you've seen i have completely evolved from being a content creator just focusing on motherhood to now i am doing crazy cycling tours and i recently just did a tour to malindi from nairobi so if you're not from kenya nairobi is the capital city of kenya and malindi is at the coast of kenya so i did 634 kilometers to the coast of the country so i did it over four days um i shot a lot of content of the same so over the next coming weeks and days you'll be able to see some of these vlogs um yeah and it's just i am not a pro athlete per se so i don't want to completely change this channel into purely cycling because that is i i have a love-hate relationship with the with the hobby but it's just more for if I can do it, you can. And if you've been here long enough, you've seen me um, just <laughs> grow into some of these things. Just seen me being a mom. My child is now six. Um, just going back to school, trying to figure life out. And I feel like the process has been crazy. It's been all over the place. But that's life. I feel like that's really life. So one of my biggest challenges currently is imposter syndrome that's the one thing that's preventing me from achieving a lot of the things that i want to achieve i have one of the worst cases of imposter syndrome currently and especially when i'm about to do something and it just starts i just start feeling what if i'm not good enough am i well equipped for this will i be able to hack this so even when i was doing that malindi tour can you imagine the first 40 kilometers of it? I really struggled. And the first and in, after those first 40 kilometers, I actually thought of going back home. I was like, I think I can go back home. I am not equipped for this. I don't think I can think I can push this hard. Um yeah, let me just go back home. I'll do from because we had okay, we had two groups. So we had a group cycling from Nairobi to Malindi. So they started on Monday and I'll write the dates. Um we is a group called by Scaly Safaris that I founded with one of my really good friends. Um we just do tours. We travel on our bicycles. Yeah, so we had two groups. The first group was leaving on Monday. The next group was leaving on Wednesday. They were taking the SGR, which is the Standard Gate Railway, taking the train from Nairobi to Voi. They would meet us in Voi, and then we'd proceed on Thursday and Friday together. So Thursday to Mombasa, Friday to Malindi. You'll see all this um, in my in the upcoming vlogs. I hope I shot them and gave, <laughs> as in I hope the way i shot because me i'm really bad with vlogging but i hope i do those videos justice when it comes to editing and trying to convey the message or yeah or, or my biggest message is tourism but yeah anyway so 40 kilometers in i thought why not just go back home then i'll be able to either drive down with my friend who's going to drive down on wednesday or take a train if there'll still be space and you know and it was just it was crazy it was sad but it was crazy because i just wanted to quit <laughs> i wanted to quit and i wanted to not do it and toward like when i was finishing i just thought to myself imagine if i actually went back home i wouldn't have been as excited as i was when i was finishing so that challenge for me was even to just tell me that i can so I want to use that kind of willpower and strength in other aspects of my life to just push through and show myself that I can do it. Like, I don't need to 
like I will get doubts and I will feel pain and it won't be easy because it wasn't easy but I will finish and I can't see it through and if I do see it through if it failed then then that's fine but if I've seen it through and it works out even better so that's where I'm at in life so this month of November for me feels like a bit of a rebirth it feels like a bit of like Wendy girl get up that's that's how I'm taking this month I don't know if you've well, if you're a Christian, you've watched um, Sarah Chicks Robert. She has a song on, on Girl Get Up. So I feel like that's the season I'm in this month. So I really want to put my best foot forward and do justice to myself because they say your greatest fear is not that you're inadequate. Your greatest fear is that you're powerful beyond nature. And I believe, whether I agree with it or not, I believe a huge part of me is just, that's the biggest fear. I'm just like, Okay, if it works, but then I'm not ready for this. That's just one of the things, yeah. But I feel, feel over the years, I started this YouTube channel in 2017 with my friend Wendy, and we're really pushing. We talk to each other. We encourage each other so much. Like, I hope I'll be able to bring her on one of these conversations so that you guys, as in, can just understand the journey. Because I'm realizing for some people, the journey is so linear. It's very straightforward, and it just works. But for some people, the self there's a lot that comes into play and all of us do experience the self-doubt and things like that however how we deal with it is so different so maybe for me it made me take a step back and panic a bit for someone else it's like okay i'll still feel the fear and do it anyway wendy was actually reminding me recently when i was doing that and she was like wendy you're living in your your words i always say feel the fear and do it anyway and i'm really living in it but anyway i hope that um a good way to introduce the month of November. It's first of November. It's my birthday month. So 11 days to my birthday and I'm so excited. I hope um, our dreams come true. I hope anyone who supports me gets like abundance of blessings. Anyone who works with me, anyone who speaks well of me, anyone who is affiliated with me, I hope God sees you through um whatever you're experiencing and i hope god blesses you in this season so i want to end this video here i don't want to make it too long because vlogs are coming up um but yeah thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll be back with more videos so yeah stay tuned and let's enjoy the growth together Bye.